Hey friends, Megan McIntosh here. Welcome to this video. Today I am going to be talking about your value, giving away valuable content and how much is too much. Are you giving away too much? Is it something to give away? Is there too much to give away? All those kind of things. Because this is something that a lot of people talk about in terms of don't give away the farm, right? Don't give away everything that you possibly know because someone might not hire you. And so I actually disagree with that. So I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on this and you can choose to do what you want with this information, but this is just the way I choose to run my business. And hopefully it resonates with you. If not, you can have your own stance. So if you're there watching, say hello, drop a one down below in the comments if you're watching right now. If you're watching the replay, please drop a two down below. You can also do hashtag replay. Let me know where you're coming in from, what city, what town, what country. I am just outside of Toronto, Canada. Facebook is letting me do a live video from my phone again. So the last few weeks I couldn't, I had to do it from my laptop with Zoom and now I'm back on my phone. You just never know what the algorithm. So here I am, different kind of setup. Just my, um, my phone is on my tripod. I prefer that because I feel like the resolution is better um, than on my laptop, but eh, it's okay. It does does what it, we do what we can, right? So, all right. So I'm sure many of you have heard of Gary Vaynerchuk, and he has this book that is called Jab Jab Right Hook. Now he is a guy that lives in New York area, and he has a agency, an advertising agency, digital agency. And he talks about the idea of you want to give a lot of content before you go in for the sale. So the idea is jab, 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 give value, 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 and then right hook is sort of the sale, right? And so there's this big debate online of should you give certain types of content away or should you hold back certain types of content, certain types of knowledge that you have. And I have heard in some places where people have said, give the the um, detail a little bit of the process but don't give the how, the exact how to right don't give your exact process right you can talk about it you can talk about the theory of something and the idea of something but don't give the actual um, you know your way or framework away and I think that it's really and it's really up to you what you choose to post on social media and what type of content you want to give to people and what type of upfront value you want you want to give before you land a, a client right because a lot of times people will become a client after they've listened to you or had any some of your trainings or maybe you've been um, going back and forth with them over email and you are you know showing them your value so there's always that point at the beginning where there's value being given, whether it's in the form of you have a podcast and you're giving value, maybe you're doing Facebook Lives, maybe you're putting posts out there, or maybe it's a referral from someone and they're asking you questions. Maybe you have a consultation call with them, right? A sales call and you're asking them questions and then you're telling them your process and maybe they still have more questions, right? I've also heard some people that, you know, in the DMs, people might ask them a whole bunch of questions and they're constantly asking questions and answering them for people. People. and some people say don't just don't do that because you're giving away the farm and that person should be paying you to answer questions now I think there is a line in terms of if you are if you are starting to feel that um, that one-on-one -on -one, right if you're emailing them back and forth or if you're messaging them a little bit too much I can understand if you might feel hesitant and if that's the case you can say let's get on a call I can tell you more of my process and then you can see if you'd like to hire me right I do think that there is a point where you do have to have that ability to close that sale and that ability to take that person through a process from you know them getting to know you and understanding your value to then you know let's jump on a call let's 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 close this like let's get you on be a client so that I can actually do the work that you want to be done and we can work together so that you know I'm telling you all these ideas but until it gets done and we're, and we're working together you're not getting all my ideas right <laughs> and what I mean by that is everybody has an incredible amount of knowledge and when you start working with someone, there's going to be more knowledge that you're realizing as you're working with someone. So I, I truly believe that 
I can never give away the farm with free value. Like I could give them 10 different templates. I could give them Excel files and Word docs and, and all this stuff, like my Trello management system of how I do things. But they're, they're, I'm always doing something new. Like I'm always a step ahead, just like you are, right? I'm always learning a new strategy. I'm always investigating in my industry. I'm always learning a new way of doing something. And what that means is when someone works with me, they're going to get that brain. They're going to get that brainstorming, that best of me, that coaching, that consulting brain that is thinking on my feet, that's thinking at the problem at hand. So when I'm working with someone one-on-one -on -one or even a group setting, I'm answering their problems. Like I'm taking their problems, I'm thinking of a solution, I'm coaching them through it or I'm consulting them through it, right? In terms of giving my suggestions, whereas coaching is more asking the questions. And in that sense, when you're working with someone and you have that energy into it, your brain is like rapid fire thinking of things, right? Thinking of new ideas, thinking of new items. Versus when you're putting out free content and you're putting out content out there, it's more broad. Now, if someone is messaging you a lot and someone's emailing you a lot about their specific business, if you're feeling that you're giving too much away in terms of, you know, you're working on their business um, and you're answering a lot more questions that you would want just because you're feeling like tense, like, oh my gosh, like, let's work together already. Like, I feel like you're, you know, asking so many questions, like, let's get on this. You're going to feel that feeling, right? So I want you to like recognize that. I want you to recognize when you're feeling that um, you are like feeling like you should be paid, right? If you're giving away too much over instant messenger or if you're giving away too much over email marketing, um, sorry, in your email messaging because that person's asking more, um, information about their specific business and information about what their issues are and they're just going back and forth with you and part of what you do is you charge for those services it's okay for you to say hey listen let's get on a phone or, or um by the way some of the questions you're asking me i actually um can help you with those in one of my packages i'd love to work with you let's do that right and so i i want you to also understand that there comes a time where it's okay to ask for the sale it's okay to say hey let's move this conversation along and if you want to work with me because it sounds like you do you're asking for my, my advice over and over again for your specific business problems then let's work together but in terms of giving free value that's more generalized and um and you know this way over facebook live or over a podcast or over a blog or whatever I think that you can say anything you want, right? And I'm not saying that you can't give valuable information to someone if they're over messenger and over email. What I'm saying is that you will start to feel, you will know when you've given away too much, right? So it's okay to go back and forth a few times if you don't mind and if you're feeling like, well, I don't mind giving this information away, right? I don't, this is not a big deal for me to answer this question. It's okay to do that, right? A lot of people say, don't do that at all. Get them on a discovery call or get them on a sales call. And as soon as they ask you about their business, like, no, right? I think it's more of an internal gut thing. If you feel like, I don't mind asking that question, right? That's okay. They've only asked me a couple questions. I'm cool with that. And you feel okay with answering those questions and that's okay, right? But if there comes a point where you're feeling internally that you're giving away too much or that you just feel like that person should be ready to work with me. They're asking me a lot of questions. I don't have the time to keep at going back and forth. Let's, let's get this out. Let's get this invoice out. That's what you want to be doing, right? And so that's what I want you to do. I want you to feel into how you're feeling when you're giving away information, how you're feeling when you are offering free value. Know that it's a service and also know that it's a gift and that the more value you give, the more likely someone's going to hire you because of the fact that they're seeing you as a resource. And you also have to remind people that this is just like the tip of the iceberg of what your knowledge in, it encompasses, right? So when I'm giving value to people, let's say I do send an email back and, and give my thoughts on something, or let's say in Messenger someone asks me a question and I'm open to answering it. Know that it's okay for you to say, you know, I also have another suggestion of this way of working that we can work on if we're gonna work together.
right? And so that's what I do is I might answer their questions, but then I'll do something where I'm actually thinking of something new and I'll say, this is another thing that I think would be great. And, but we can talk more about that on a call or we can talk more about that when you decide to work with me. And I think that it's always your job to remind people that you have way more under the hood, right? Like you have the brain that you are giving them back and forth right now, but when they work with you, like it's going to be tenfold because of the energy exchange, right? There is such a thing as energy exchange. And I truly believe that when I'm working with someone intensely that my brain is literally partnered with them, right? In a sense that I am feeling in partnership with them. I like, I'm thinking about their business. I'm thinking about them. I'm thinking about things to help them. I'm thinking about creative ideas. And so when you are being paid by someone, there is that energy and it's almost like your brain works overtime. And, and it does, like I know that when I'm working with someone and I'm getting the payment that I deserve for it, my brain is like, what about this? What about this? What about this? Right? Like I'm like, I have so many ideas and so many thoughts and so many ways of doing things that are, that I wouldn't have thought about before. And I look at it like this. Okay. Um, my partner's a personal trainer and fashion stress therapist. And let's just say that he, he has like so many, um, different types of therapies and so many different types of training that he could give. Right. He doesn't just go by the training in the book. He has more and more and every day he's thinking about a new exercise. So he could literally give someone a program, a training program, and they could be like, oh, awesome. I'm stealing this training program. I'm going to be working out in the gym. But if they were going to work with him one on one or in a group setting, he would be constantly coming up with new ideas, new program ideas, new exercise ideas, new techniques. Like it's just the way it goes. I know because he's like, I came up this new technique today. I came up this new exercise. That is the same with business. It's exactly the same. Like I'm always thinking of new ways of doing things that are simple, that are more effective, that work better, right? More streamlined, better, um, you know, processes, systems, right? And so your brain is constantly ahead of the game and constantly thinking about new things. So what I might give advice with someone um, tomorrow, yesterday, maybe it's changed like a month down the line, right? I might say, actually, this is what I would suggest today. And so I want you to think that too. I want you to think of you're like a resource uh, that is like completely untapped. Like there's like you're a continuous tap of ideas. You're a continuous resource that you will always come up with new solutions. You'll, you'll always come up with new um, ideas. So it doesn't matter how much you give away and know that you're going to have more, more to give, more, more thoughts, more ideas, more strategies, right? And that's what I love about what I do is I can be creative, I can be strategic, and I can always be thinking about new ideas. But it's also your job to remind people who are about to hire you that that's the way they're, that, that you work. Like them working with you is literally them tapping into your brain, right? Tapping into your genius. And so that there's two brains working together. It's not just like, here's a paint by numbers um, strategy go for it right like for me I'm always thinking about that person's business I'm always thinking about that person where they're at and so that my brain is tapped into them and understanding them and it's not just like paint by numbers this is what I would do or this is what I've given to my 10 other clients right it's more of let's think about you let's think about your business I'm always thinking about you I'm always thinking about your business I'm tapped into it I'm partnered with it and that means that I'm thinking about different creative ideas for you and I'm thinking about those all the time and I'm brainstorming with you. I'm, I'm being a creative genius with you. And that's, that's really all it is. And, and reminding yourself of that, reminding that you're never going to run out of ideas. You're going to probably have new ideas all the time. And I always think about it this way. Like you listen to podcasters and people talking about their business. Everybody's always changing, right? Everybody's business is always changing. There's always like new iterations of things, uh, new ways of doing things. They might have like a 2.0 version of their course, whatever. That's because they're constantly changing. They're constantly coming with new ways of doing things. Otherwise, you'd be taking the same course over and over and over, right? I have an example of Marie Forleo. She teaches something called B-School online, like this huge online business school that a lot of people take, right? She's done that course over and over and over again. But if you look at her sales page when she launches the course, you actually see different, you can actually see like what she's changed in the course. Some of the different things that she's offering. She's not offering the same thing every single time, right? And so that's the same in anything that you're doing. So I want you to think about that, like um, giving away the value, giving people value. It's not about, hey, you're giving away too much. 
It's about knowing where value comes from. And value is ideas. Value is you being a thought leader and knowing that you're going to always have new ideas coming up to make things better, easier, faster, all that kind of thing. And if you know that about yourself and you believe that about yourself and you own that, then then those people that are tire kickers, those people that are asking you questions that they never buy, you don't stress about that because you know that the right clients that do believe in you and that understand the way your brain works and like want to brainstorm with you and want your creative ideas and want your creative juice and want that like be tapped into you and your essence are going to find you and want to work with you. And the ones that are maybe, you know, not working with you or just like, you know, fishing you for information, they're not really the type of people you'd probably want to work with anyway because they're probably not the type of people that are going to acknowledge um, your ideas and, and understand the way you are and, and, and really take your ideas um, at uh, full value, right? They might take you for granted. So I want you to think about that too, that this is a great way to see who is really going to invest in you and actually can look at the big picture. That they're not thinking, I'm just going to take this from this person and this from this person and, and you know figure out my business that way or figure out what strategy I want for that. It's more of like, this person is constantly giving me value oh my gosh, what more can she give? And every time she comes up with new things and I know that her brain is just full of, like she believes in herself, she believes in her business, she believes in her creativity and she's so full of ideas that I wanna work with her because I know that she's untapped and she believes that in herself. That's what I want you to think about in terms of giving value. I don't think that you can ever give out too much value because you're always gonna have new value, which is new ideas. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're interested in coaching with me, I would love to work with you. I really work with people who are looking to build an online business. And specifically, my strategies are really with sales, marketing, and mindset. And how I do that is a three-part process in terms of we look at your intuition, your, um, what's the third one? <laughs> your intuition your why do I forget the word oh my gosh I just forgot it what is it called um influence and innovation <laughs> I just had a brain fart there and your intuition is really your mindset and your energy really to be able to be on track be in the energetics be in the mindset be in the space of being able to do what you want to do because you're feeling fulfilled you're feeling in flow you have that mindset you're on you're confident you're motivated you're inspired right so really tapping into that intuitive side of you and getting to understand what um, turns you on like what makes your mindset work is it you know journaling is it intention setting whatever it is right it could be something totally different than those things um, and how do you stay energized right and so like the mindset energy piece is really within the intuition knowing what you need yourself to make you an incredible CEO and business owner the middle part is the influence, right? And then I work with you on your influence via your sales and marketing and brand strategy. So your influence is really the way you come across to the world, your the way that you are showcasing yourself, your visibility the, so that people know what you're all about, your messaging, it's all in there, right? Like marketing, brand strategy, and sales is the way you get clients because it's that outward side of you where you're understanding who you are, you're understanding who you serve, and you're going out there and reminding people of your message. And so getting that influence out there is really by using your brand strategy and your marketing and sales. And so those are the things that I have a really good skill set in because I've been a sales manager before, I've been a marketing director before, before, and I do this in my own business. And the third part of it is your innovation. So for me, I really am a creative. Um, not only am I a salesperson, you know, through and through, but I'm also a creative. I, you know, after being in the advertising industry for many years, I was also in sales. So I kind of have those two sides of me. And I, I to this day, I write films. I come up with ideas and I write scripts and I never used to do that. And then I came back to my creativity. And so I think that being able to believe in yourself, believe in your ideas see yourself as a thought thought leader is really important so I really look at your creativity your thought leadership and enhance your innovation and look at ways to do that how can you go forward to be that thought leader and what are ways to enhance your creativity and do it in a way that's like how do you come up with new innovative ideas so that you're ahead of the crowd so that people are choosing you over some other person and you know I believe that we all have, have the ability to get clients so it's not like they're choosing you over someone else but they are just looking 
looking at you as that thought leader to help them in what they need to do. So if you're interested in, you know, increasing your innovation, your uh, intuition, and, <laughs> uh, and your influence, definitely reach out to me. You can send me a direct message. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening, wherever you are in this world. Bye.